Hey guys, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today we're going to be doing a little craft project. Um, this is actually something I haven't tried before. <laughs> I do that quite often on these videos, but um, it's kind of fun, I think, to learn together and even make mistakes. And you can see that even crafters who do YouTube videos are human and mess up sometimes, but hopefully we won't mess up today. Um, so. This project is going to be using uh, these mini file folders, the Roses and Stripes mini folders printable from my Etsy shop. And I went ahead and printed those and cut them out and I inked the edges so they're all ready to go. And what we're going to be doing today is making just kind of a mini junk journal out of these file folders. And then a couple of the other uh, printables from my shop that I'll be using today are the shabby rose clocks. And again, I've cut those out and they're just kind of like ready to go for the project. And then also um, I'm going to be using a few pieces from the Grandma's Attic Journal Kit. So we'll talk about kind of all this later, but to start with um, these mini folders, I printed and cut them and then um, the, the front one and the back one have the images on the outside and the stripes on the inside. But the inside ones I'm going to be turning inside out. So these actually have the stripes facing out. And the reason I did that is because we're going to be gluing these together to make our journal. And I kind of wanted the stripes hidden uh, for most of it so that they were kind of to the inside. I'll, I'll show you how this all works in just a minute. So anyway, just so you know, the outside pieces are folded right side out and then the internal ones I folded striped side out. So to get started on this little journal project, my plan is to um, glue some of these together and kind of create tuck spots for cards and things. And it's also going to be how our journal is held together. So um, just to get started, I'm going to be doing kind of a um, C-shaped pattern here. This is actually a backwards C, but just around the edges. And I'm going to leave, oops, I'm going to leave this edge open and then that's gonna create a, a tuck spot. So I'm just gonna start gluing one page to the next, just like this, lining them all up. And then I'm gonna repeat the process for the next page. And I'm gonna make another C-shaped glue, glue area. And then I'm going to line this up and glue it together. And like I said, I haven't actually done one of these this way before, so who knows if this will actually work the way I plan. <laughs> I hope it will, but that's part of the adventure. You just never quite know how your craft project's gonna turn out until you do it. So again, just repeating the process, lining up our pages, What should be happening is we should be getting journal pages out of this, and it looks like we are. And when they're dry, it should create little tuck spots in here for us to put cards and things in. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of um, clamp it shut with my super high tech clamping devices. There we go. We'll let that dry a little bit and we'll talk a little bit about kind of how we're going to decorate it. So since I've got these shabby uh, rose clocks, I thought it would be neat to do kind of a time theme for the whole project. So um, for the cover, I thought I would use some of my ephemera from the uh, Grandma's Attic kit and make, um, put a clock on the cover and then make it say something uh, like journal time as, as my cover title. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together some items for the cover here. And I got this cheesecloth. I always think this looks kind of cool for embellishing. I'll put links to some of the items that I'm using down below. So if you have something that you think you might want to use for your own journal, you can 
click a link and get there. Pick something up for yourself. So I didn't actually ink this. And I'm using Vintage Photo from Tim Holtz for inking. And if you're new to journaling, uh, this is a pretty common thing to ink your edges because it gives um, your pieces just some depth and also kind of a cool antiqued look. It helps them sort of stand out against the background too. So there's lots of good things uh, for ink to do for your projects. I'm getting things stuck to me. So I kind of had this laid out beforehand, just thinking of kind of how I wanted the cover to look. And this is just an old button from a collection. I actually picked up at a thrift store. I was lucky enough to find this just cool old jar of buttons. And so every once in a while I use one in an art project. Like this one. So I'm just kind of gonna play around with the layout here and decide sort of how I want my cover to look. And then um, for the title, I think I'm just going to go ahead and hand stamp. I've got this uh, little set of alpha stamps and a lot of people say, where did you get this? And I'm like, I think I picked it up just at Walmart, like in the kind of maybe even kids craft section. I'm not sure. It's been a long time, but um, you can find these in a lot of places. Like if you just go on Amazon and look for alphabet stamps. So if you want these for hand stamping things, that's probably where you'll find them. Hopefully I don't mess this up. <laughs> I don't have the most straight hands, so I try to just um, let myself make mistakes and accept it because I think that's kind of part of junk journaling is to um, just let it be um, imperfect. It's okay to let yourself make mistakes and just kind of go with it. There's kind of a freedom in knowing that it doesn't have to look perfect. That's part of the fun of junk journaling to me. These are just some pearl uh, stickers that my daughter bought for me. Maybe they'll help, help offset some of the mistakes that I've made here. There we go. I think that'll be like a cute little cover piece for our journal. Let's see how it's coming along here. It looks like some of my glue did seep out. making a big old mess, isn't it? So yeah, when you're gluing these, I'd say try to stay away from the edges a little bit more than I did because then hopefully your glue won't seep out like mine did. But overall, it's kind of a cute little journal. It's coming together. I think I'm going to go ahead and attach our cover right here. And I might go ahead and do a, um, a C-shaped glue area again, just in case I want to tuck something behind the cover. You never know. We still have the option. Okay, so now we have this kind of cool blank space to decorate however we want, and that's where some of these other products come in. Um, 
I've got the Grandma's Attic kit comes with some printable um, striped journaling pages. So I just went ahead and printed those and cut out some shapes to put in here. And I think these will make some cute little journal spots. Okay, so some other pieces that I've got. Um, I've got some little envelopes that I just went ahead and punched with a circle punch. And I, I took a little to make this a little like curve so that um, I can put a tag in it. So I thought that'd be a cute little tuck spot for those. And the tags from the kit just come without holes. And um, I've got these you know, uh, hole protectors. And I like to antique them with a little bit of ink. Give them just kind of a cool old antique look. And then I just kind of find the center where I think it is. And punch that out. And then I've got some ribbon. I've got a whole bunch of ribbon. So I try to pick stuff that's kind of in the same color scheme as the journal I'm working on. In this case, I've got some pretty pinks that I think go nicely with it. And then I fold the, pull them over double and put the loop through here. And just pull my ribbon, ribbon strings through the loop. Like so I think I'll go ahead and glue this down. And then these have become tuck spots, which I don't think I want to tuck anything in there just yet, but when it's dry, we can maybe tuck some, some things in here. I may have glued it a little too tight for that one. I'll find something a little bit smaller to tuck in there maybe. That might be a little bit big too. It's hard because the glue is still wet, but there you go. You can kind of see how it'll work. It just kind of goes with these pages. I'm gonna use it to make a little pocket. And I like to use scraps of lace sometimes to decorate as well um, because they make nice spots for uh, attaching um, charms. Those little um, bulb pins. I'll try to find a link for these below. But they're good for attaching charms. I've got um, a whole bunch of these little charms too. I was trying to find one that maybe goes with the theme a little bit more like the time theme, like maybe an hourglass or something, but um, I don't know if I've got anything like that in this pile. But these are a fun little collection of charms. I'll try to find the link for these for you too, in case you're interested in getting charms for your journals. But I think, I think I'm just going to go with this little tree for now.
and I'll probably continue to decorate and embellish and add things um, as I go here, but this is just to give you an idea of what you can do to create a journal with these mini file folders. Here's kind of what it ended up looking like after I added just a couple more things. It's got the little tuck spots here. And I think it just turned out really uh, sweet and cute and fun. There's lots of little fun surprises and places for journaling and, and just uh, writing down ideas or adding pictures or just being creative. So that's it, my little uh, mini folder journal project. Thanks for watching everybody.